Breadfruit is just an amazing tree. So extraordinarily beautiful with the deep patterned leaves and the different shapes of the fruit. And to me, the thing that's so wonderful about breadfruit is that it produces a starchy carbohydrate food. So you plant a tree, you can do it in less than an hour, and that tree will produce for decades compared to an annual field crop. One tree can produce anything from 300 to 1,200 pounds of food a year, which is immense. 85% of the places in the world where poverty and hunger is an issue, breadfruit can grow. If you have breadfruit growing in places like in West Africa or Costa Rica, you're gonna have food or like people can utilize that, one, for nourishment, but two for income. In Hawaii, it's hard to be a farmer and make enough money to pay your bills. Trust me, <laughs> you know, like you have to go and get a part-time job to supplement your farm. It would be in a perfect world, but every square foot is potentially making them money. Literally a year ago, all that was here was grass and established ulu trees. What we're trying to model here is how you can diversify and utilize all of your land using ulu as the backbone of your agroforest. We monitor weekly what we're producing and harvesting from the agroforest. And so far we've harvested nearly a ton of produce and that doesn't include the breadfruit. Breadfruit agroforestry really typifies regenerative agriculture, especially as practiced in the tropics by indigenous people for centuries. They didn't have external input. So these breadfruit-based agroforests and these agroforestry production systems were organic and they were regenerative in that everything interacted together. When we talk about regenerative organic, it's rebuilding, it's adding back to the land. And so it integrates the resources that are available and on site. They start producing fruit every year and then they start dropping their leaves and fertilizing themselves. And then you're having this carbon sequestration within the canopy, which is so different from any other staple starch crop that we have. With climate change and changing weather patterns across the globe, agroforests have a huge potential for helping mitigate the impacts of climate change. They provide the environmental benefits of protecting the soil, sequestering carbon, and then the biodiversity, not only of the soil microorganisms, but also of the biological life. Ulu was an important source of sustenance for the Hawaiian peoples that we can also today go back to that and say in Hawaii, like how can this tree that thrives here sustain us? If we look how people grew breadfruit for century, if not millennia, that's such a profound model for what we can do now as a path forward to take those old methods, use the newest knowledge and information and research on soil microbiology, soil health, and all of that, and integrate that together. And we can do that around breadfruit.